paro. Oh, kita nak baca kodak. Kodak, kodak, kodak. Ebi. Founded by notorious Batarian slaver Solom Dalsera, the Blue Suns began as a Skillian Verge protection racket, providing genuine protection from slavers and pirates. Genuine Eventually captured protection. by the Systems Alliance Navy, Dalsera beat almost two dozen charges to be convicted on a single count of conspiracy. The slaver benefited from the tutelage of cellmate and brilliant con artist Bernard Legitz Ledger. Upon release five years later, Dalsera incorporated Blue Suns as a legal security agency. Today, the Blue Suns boast a galaxy-wide force of Batarians, Turians, humans, and Krogan. Each deployment is backed by a logistics core, selling everything from heavy weapons to shaving, shaving cream. cream. Despite claims that Blue Suns sells its captives as slaves, no Blue Suns employee has ever been convicted on such charges. Many Blue Suns members sport the company logo in tattoo form. Wow. Moved during assignments and reapplied at mission end. What? The heck? Brainchild of Asari Commando Jonas Sedaris, Eclipse was incorporated as a proactive security company. Influenced by Asari and Salarian military doctrine, Eclipse specializes in sabotage, assassination, and personal and organizational security. Although Citadel governments regard the corporation with suspicion, it's embraced in the Skillian Verge and Terminus systems. Early on, Sedaris sought government contracts to establish market share against the better established Blue Suns. Her agency scored a galactic PR coup by retaking several space stations captured by the Anher People's Liberation Army and neutralizing its leaders. A victory Eclipse's marketing department never ceases trumpeting. Based on Omega Station, Eclipse controls nearly 20% of the asteroid's real estate. Its services range from mech repair to open warfare. Open warfare. Although assassination is reserved for meeting wider, longer-term company goals. For instance, preemptive strikes against pirates rather than murdering spouses for insurance money. Despite numerous reports, Eclipse denies sabotaging or kidnapping business rivals. Originally a small Terminus Systems Vorcha gang, the Blood Pack was transformed into a legion by visionary Krogan battlemaster Gunnar Rang. Exiled for striking a female in anger, Rang obsessed over reclaiming his lost status. Leading the Vorcha Pack as a pirate crew, Rang cultivated recruits and infamy for a decade before incorporating his fighters as a security company across the Skillian Verge. His notoriety ensured his initial public offering for investors made him rich beyond most Krogan's dreams. Rang returned triumphantly to his clan, rallying elders, Krogan hordes, and their firepower and biotic support toward professional violence in the Terminus systems. Banned from Citadel space, the Blood Pack bribes its way through spaceports into armed conflicts across the galaxy. Priding themselves for accepting otherwise untouchable contracts, the Blood Pack rejects bodyguarding and security in favor of cases requiring minimal oversight mm -hmm. and maximal violence. Maximal violence. Sure. Sure, yeah. Originally an asteroid rich in element zero, Omega was briefly mined by the Protheans, who eventually abandoned it due to its thick, impenetrable crust. Thousands of years later, Nature did what even the Protheans could not. A collision with another asteroid broke Omega in half, exposing its trove of element zero for easy mining. A rush ensued as corporations and private individuals tried to strike it rich on Omega, and thieves and outlaws followed in their wake. As space became tight, construction of processing facilities extended vertically from the asteroid, creating Omega's jellyfish-like silhouette. To prevent future collisions, the station is ringed with enormous mass effect field generators that redirect incoming debris. Today, Omega is a major hub of narcotics, narcotics. weapons, and ESO trafficking, without even a pretense of civilian government or military control. Only mercenary groups have been able to instill a limited order. The most ruthless is an Asari syndicate run by the notorious Arya Talok. Zaid. 
Baby girl. What's this area of the ship? This is the in addition. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off That's the all for now. Logging you no. out, Shepard. Log me out, please. Let's see, Garus. Garus Chang. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say, you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. Most of us didn't get a Cerberus rebuild. They outdid themselves with you. Ask for any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. Hey, I'm about to get ready. Well, well, well. Then we need a window for that. Hey, yeah, the hobby lah. Oh. Eh, aku tak pakai pun tu Shit Well Fuck me, right? Siapa nak Brandy? Ah Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back That's great Because he was totally my favorite With that pole up his ass <laughs> I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. There's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. I assume everything's going well. Good for here. now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. Fractured my thumb on my. 
So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. The rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. Bye. -y. That's it for now. See ya, Commander. I don't see you. So I can check my emails, right? Maybe later. It's close. Aria, give me the address. Aria, but. Huh. Hi, Garus. Concussive shot. Aku sniper ke? Best commander, we just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion Five poker. Want to join us? What's Come that? on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. What's that? Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion Five's a bit rusty. It'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. What is this? Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me at my own game. You're all right, Shepard. You're all right, Shepard. You're all right. Whoa, scary place. Right to do that. Nice thing to do. Buggy Brandy. Oh. That's Brandy. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call it Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillion Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Thanks. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. 
It used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. It wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. <coughs> That's weird. Oh, oh, buang sampah. Buang sampah merata-rata. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute? You might learn something. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. You and I wanted the same thing. A whole <laughs> lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. <laughs> Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. I should let you go. Okay. Talk more later, Chef. Thanks, Zayid. for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Oh. Why don't we open this bottle right here? Right now. You and me. Let's you go. crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. I thought Alenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, <coughs> not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff. Joker will always have Rolic Syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish he weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. What's oh, happening? Oh no. I'm... <laughs> Ah, uh, drink too much. Access to the AI core is restricted. Oh, damn. Look at it. Hello. How can I help you, Commander? Do you have everything you need? If you happen to find any of those supplies on the list I gave you, I will take it back to work. Get better, get better. 
Ah, Miranda. Hi. Hi, baby. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. Why? You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and That's personal. kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Talk about yourself like you're just a oh, tool. Maybe. I like you to are who you are, Miranda. That's easy. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because What's of your it. your mother? You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I don't I have a mother. <gasps> Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Bye. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Garus when Garus. Where is Garus Chan? Garus, what's he Shepard, the women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Now I Mandy. Hey, Mandy, sir. What? Garus Chan. Hello. She's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Wait. Life support. Where's Garus Chan? Oh, no, Garus. Oh, Garus, I don't. Well, let's go. Email the Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Lucky. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. Mm. I don't want to overstep my bounds. I like you. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? <coughs> Do you have a moment to <coughs> I always have time for you, Commander. 
What do you do? What are your here? responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any mess. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Yes, but being your yeoman is just my every I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Bye. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. What else would you like to know? No, bye. Go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Yes. You lied to me. This no are we going? Still Omega, right? Garus. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. 
So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Hmm. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. You can't go in? So you're saying the slums are... Finally, a human that can... You can't keep me out. doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague... There's a Solarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened the clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Let me help. Investigate. Ah. Let me investigate. Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? Tell me more about this plague. Well, it starts out as a cough. Then you start coughing blood. And, well, then I shoot you. It affects multiple species. Turians, Solarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune. And Vorcha, if you count them. An airborne disease that takes down multiple races. Ah, Can't let that spread. Feet. Hence the quarantine. Who are the Blue Suns? Mercenary gang that runs the district. At least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. The plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Solarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague uh, and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. Let me help. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. A quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? Damn. Oh, uh. It's safer to stick with a squad who's immune to the plague. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. <coughs> I need to change. Change lah. Tiba tiba ulah the plague. Uh. Zaid.
Damn you. Ah, uh, yeah. Good luck in there. Blue suns and Vorcha shooting anything that moves. Bodies in the street and burn them. Human should have guessed. <laughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morden Solace. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorge burned burn Morden and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you... <laughs> I hope... <laughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't... Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. Oh, you are alive. what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound sincere. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <laughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morden is, I will risk it if he can reach me. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> well, we. Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species <laughs> not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <laughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them. Well. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. You may not want to believe it. But yeah. all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morden Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps <sighs> he can help. You were talking about Vorcha earlier. Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But 
as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Forcha overwhelm them. Bye. I should go. Goodbye, you. That's heck. To go. Oh. oh. Ayo, bypass tak boleh senang-senang Tried to claw his way out Can't say I wouldn't do the same
Started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why do you have to? Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Suns territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless, Unless they see, see you first. first. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. How did it spread? Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. And this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control, and the whole district turned into a war zone. Vorta gonna snap on them. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Sense heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. <laughs> He's cold. Must be Solarian special forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. 
I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morton's clinic. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorches, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morton's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Sure. Do you have any money? Yes. Yes, baby girl. Are you look at? Yo! Sons have given up a lot of turf. Just what I like to see. Just what I like to see. this stuff it's ours now ah, forget it nothing but junk in here this place is worse than the last one who are you what are you doing in this apartment did you kill that turian what the guy on the floor nah the plague took care of him 
We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? This yes. plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Are some dead Turian's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. Do you know a Solarian named Morden Solace? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. He's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. Oh. What else can, can you, you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. What do you know about the Vorcha? The Blue Suns used to keep them down. But with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. I don't know who's gonna come out on top. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. Yeah, smart. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solus. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. No way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to, before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcha finish him off. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry to see him go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship, kept the district in line for the most part. Bye. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while, get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. Mm. <coughs> Bobby. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. They call. All clear here. Morton's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morton.
Morden saved my life. I owe him everything. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. Interesting. I love you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, so. Professor Morden Solis? Why? Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Fortune. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Fortune a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No. No, no. Too many guns. Not enough. Data equipment. Soldiers. Not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns. Maybe. Looking for some. Relax, yes. Morden. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human-centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin. Not Alliance standard. Spectres. Not human. Terra firma too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. You're very well informed. How did a Solarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Solarian aid? The Collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. That sounded troubling. Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from Dead Blue Sun's marks may come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorch territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If Talk I see him, I I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future, I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm. Risky. Blue Sun's Vorch are still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm. Advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variants. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Theory. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Snuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients.
Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. <laughs> That's nothing major. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special Tasks Group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Solarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. <laughs> Let's head for the environmental Bye. plant. seen us.
banyak ni. Terima kasih. the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Watch out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. Signal henchman. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. She's right. Doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? No, I cannot trust you. We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. Okay, Daniel. Dead.
The environmental controls should be nearby. We need to insert the cure, then reactivate the fans.
Improving, Forcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you from me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. <laughs> Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. Did you join me? We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm gonna look around for a moment. Ah! Renegade! Ren! I... I know you. From the apartment. You found me. You told Morden about me, didn't you? You... You saved my life. Remember this the next time you're about to judge our species. I was wrong about you, human. I was wrong about a lot of things. The last time I saw you, you were too weak to move. Two of Morden's assistants found me. They gave me the vaccine and brought me back here once I was stable. They were humans. 
they risked their lives to find me and bring me to safety. Bye. Glad to see you're okay. I owe you my life, human. Thank you. Morden said all those things. I thought... I thought I knew him. Thanks for bringing us here. Thanks for bringing us here. You probably saved our lives. The fortune may be gone, but I still don't trust the Blue Suns. Not after what they did. With the fortune gone, the Blue Sun should be able to regain control of the district. Things can be back to the world. Things are going to be tough when Morton goes. I hope everyone here remembers everything we did. It's going to be strange running the clinic without the professor. But we'll get by. This clinic gave me sanctuary during the plague. I'll see if they need my help. Yes. Let's end the mission. Exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Salarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only. No knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation <laughs> listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. This mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No, spreads too slow. Airborne fires. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Server is more desperate than I thought. The collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever Ten we have to do to of find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. The Inferno Armor. Banyaknya research. Hello. Unlock to visitor the shotgun. Ah, it's nice. Yeah. Well, that's all I guess. Bye bye, Johnny.